guys happy hump day I am going to try a new recipe this evening so I figured I will film it and take you through it and pray that it comes out good so basically it's gonna be a keto beef stew that I'm going to do in my instant pot instead of like a crock pot all day obviously because it's already almost dinner time I'm gonna use this chuck roast which I'm going to cut into smaller pieces and use for the beef stew instead of buying that sketchy looking little cubes of stew meat so I'll take you through it step by step as always roast up into cubes and instead of flouring it since I don't do like white flour I have got some pink salt and some garlic and onion powder and just tossed it around I didn't do pepper because it burns and then over here I have got 12 ounces of bacon that I'm gonna fry and then crumble and that's what I'm doing right now I have got the instant pot heating up right now on saute when it says hot it's ready and I've got a couple tablespoons of avocado oil in there I'm gonna throw in the cubes of beef and just kind of toss them around and get a sear on all sides and then I can throw all of the rest of the stuff in the instant pot alright guys I want to show you the lineup of everything that's gonna go into the instant pot with that um, stew meat that I showed you so this is the 12 ounces of bacon cooked and crumbled four cloves of minced garlic one small onion, four ounces of cremini mushrooms, four ounces of peppers, two ribs of celery, and one large carrot. I'm also gonna do a whole can, 14.5 ounces of diced tomatoes. So make sure you get the ones that are just tomatoes, no sugar or anything weird like that. I'm gonna do a couple tablespoons of tomato paste, a couple tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, a couple cups of beef stock, and then just some oregano and garlic and onion powder and salt and pepper and then I'm gonna slam the lid down and cook it for 30 minutes on high I pressure. I'm gonna show you what it looks like before I cook it. So I've added all of the ingredients I just listed into the Instant Pot. I'm going to put the lid down on it, lock it, and do it high pressure 30 minutes and I'm going to let it do a natural release. So I'm not gonna to touch it after it's done for 10 minutes. Then I will release the remaining pressure and then it will be done. Guys, this is the beef stew. It came out absolutely perfect. The broth is so flavorful. And in 30 minutes in the Instant Pot, I mean the meat is literally just falling apart, like shreddable. So I highly recommend. Um, I will end up posting this to my personal page in right, a guys, bit. my beef stew just kicked off in the Instant Pot. I'm doing the 10 minute um, natural release right now. So that'll be ready in a minute. But I decided tonight, I'm going to be extra ambitious and I am going to make some keto cinnamon rolls. Um, I've been craving them. I have not made them forever. I used to make them all the time and I figured why not? Let's do it. So I'm going to take you through it step by step because it's like one of the only recipes I have not filmed yet. So I will get it up to you guys in the stories. I will get it up to YouTube and the full recipe will be in the description box when it goes to YouTube as always. Okay. so. Here we go. Step to making the cinnamon roll dough, which this is a basic fathead dough recipe. I've got two cups of mozzarella cheese and three ounces of regular block style cream cheese in a microwave safe bowl. I'm gonna pop it in the microwave for about a minute until this gets melted. This is what it should look like when it's all melted and kind of stirred together. Now to this, I'm going to add two eggs, um, quarter teaspoon salt, teaspoon vanilla, half cup coconut flour, half teaspoon of xanthan gum, um, I believe a half teaspoon, I'll double check, of baking powder and a quarter cup of monk fruit sweetener and a, oh, and a half teaspoon of vanilla stevia drops. The dough looks like I'm going to now roll it out and form the kind of like roll up and slice to form cinnamon rolls. Here is my dough. I rolled it out with a rolling pin between two pieces of parchment. So I had one on top. I rolled it out. It's kind of funky around the edges, but it'll be fine. I'll have a couple that are special. Um, but what I did was I rolled it out to about six by 18 ish, and then I cut it into strips. And next I'm going to smear the filling on top. At this beautiful mixture. This is going to be the cinnamon roll filling. And this uses a half cup of melted butter, a third cup of Swerve Brown. This stuff is identical to brown sugar, but it's zero carb. It's amazing. And then two teaspoons of cinnamon. I love this Cylon cinnamon that I order from Amazon. It's so much better than just regular 
cinnamon that you buy at the grocery store. So there's two teaspoons. I'm just gonna mix this really well. I'm going to spread half of this mixture on the strips of dough and roll them up, place them in a pie pan I've lined with parchment, and then I will pour the remaining half over the top. I'll show you what that These looks are like. They're all rolled up, the filling is in them, the rest is poured on top, and I'm going to pop them in the oven. I also wanted to note that earlier when I was making the dough, I said like a half teaspoon of baking powder. It's a full tablespoon. So again, it will be down in the description when this is uploaded to YouTube, but just wanted to let you know in case anyone is following this and writing it down. Now I'm gonna pop these in a 400 degree oven. I'll have to look at the time really quickly, but I'll let you know exactly how long it takes to cook them before they come out perfectly. Rolls are in the oven and it's 15 to 18 minutes it says, but I'll let you know because sometimes they need to go a little bit longer. Um, but I made the frosting and it is three ounces of cream cheese, three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, one tablespoon of Swerve Confectioners. You can use regular sweetener if you want, but this confectioners is powdered so it doesn't give like a grittiness to the icing which I always do for frostings and things like that as well as a half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract I threw it in the blender to get it really nice and mixed up and then when the cinnamon rolls come out of the oven I can frost them you guys I can't even describe how good this smells it's amazing golden brown on top right out of the oven and now I'm going to add the frosting to the top all right guys they are all frosted up i don't even know what to say they just look freaking amazing let's just have a moment of silence for these delicious hot cinnamon rolls that are keto friendly all right that's enough anyway um they took about i want to say about 20 maybe 25 minutes at the most because at the 15 18 minute mark they were still a little doughy and i wanted that nice golden brown top but you can start checking it at 15 to 18 minutes because your oven may cook quickly um, also my cinnamon rolls were a bit thicker so that might have had something to do with the longer cook time so that is keto cinnamon rolls for that ass. Hey guys good morning happy friday coming in post workout looking like a hot mess um Got in my workout early today. Um, I had my ketones first thing. Um, just felt great, wanted to get my workout out of the way. And now it is about quarter to 11 and I'm not hungry yet, but I kind of was craving coffee, which is weird because I really don't drink coffee anymore just because I don't need it because once I drink my PTK, I'm just energized and ready to go. But this morning coffee just sounded yummy and I have some of this which is keto cream. And this is basically like a bulletproof coffee creamer all in one with your MCT oil, your collagen, your coconut fat, your B vitamins, your DNA repair, um, cream and sweetener, keto approved all in one. This is the sweet cream flavor. So I'll show you what I do to make an iced coffee with it, which is like, it's so good. It's perfectly sweet and creamy. I don't have to haul out four or five different little bottles of collagen and MCT and butter and all the stuff I used to and um, I can just dump and stir so I'll show you how I make that it right now is I just brewed a cup of coffee and my Keurig I'm having this Javalia signature blend right now and then I just dump the packet in and stir it stirs up nice and smooth with no clumps or anything like that and then I've got a nice big cup of ice on the side and I'm just gonna pour this into this and I've got a straw ready to go and that will be it. Um, I'm not gonna pour with only one hand and my camera in the other, so I'll show you what it looks like in the next. Here we go, it was the perfect amount too with one cup of coffee with this tumbler full of ice. Um, I just poured it in there and I'm just gonna stir it around and let it get chilled, stick a straw in it and you've got an amazing bulletproof iced coffee using sweet cream keto cream.